Well, God, I just, uh, I thank you for the blessings that you're uh, putting on me and Haley's lives today, Lord. I pray that you would just bless the covenant that we're going to join together in under you today. I pray that you would just allow us to be able to enjoy the rest of our night and not just get wrapped up in everything that's going on around us, but to really just enjoy each other and celebrate the love that you've brought us together to have, Lord, in your name. Amen. Jesse, I don't remember the first thing I said to you, but I do remember the first time you came over to my apartment and helped me decorate my Christmas tree. And in that moment, I remember thanking God for the extra time he spent making the crinkle in your nose and putting the stars in your eyes. Thank you for working up the courage to ask me on our first date. Even though I didn't message you back for a week after, thank you for not losing hope, even though you probably wanted to. Thank you for always showing me love and patience, even at the times when I'm least deserving of it. But most of all, thank you for taking my hand and going on this journey with me. As we start our journey together as husband and wife, I promise to continue to love and support and cherish you and our relationship in a way that is honoring the Lord. I promise to love you and not only on the good days, but also the ugly ones too. I promise to continue to be your biggest fan and to always be cheering you on. No matter what storm shall come, I promise to always hold your hand through it all. I love you forever and always. <laughs> Haley, just shy of two years ago, I had a dream about you. In the dream, I was driving home and upon opening the front door, I was greeted by your bright blue eyes and your beautiful smile. And about a month after that, I had asked you on our first date. And looking back on that today, I can say with certainty, that God brought us together knowing we could serve his purpose better together than apart. And that you have completely lived up to being the woman of my dreams. I promise to love you to the best of my abilities every day, being patient and mindful of your needs and feelings, to be a husband that leads our household in faith and cherishes you in a way that reflects our relationship with Christ in our marriage. I promise to do the best to live up to the potential you saw in me to be a provider for a family that we build and be a man you're, you're proud to be with. Haley, I love you so much and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Son? You can kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to announce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Garman. Turns out the term best man originated because if the bride's family did not approve of the groom, the best man would kidnap the bride so they could still get married. So thank God I didn't have to do that. 
You're an amazing person. Through my experience, I know he'd do anything for the people he cares about. Therefore, I know Haley's in good hands. each other for only short three short years we've been there for each other through some of the hardest times in our life we've shared a lot of tears and a ton more of laughter I'm so proud of the person she's become and the life that she's chosen for herself especially the man she's chosen to spend the rest of her life with to you both I read somewhere that love is a friendship that has caught fire may your fire stay strong and bright and filled with laughter I love you both to the bride and groom